Fancy intro music, yeah! Hey there, Star Trek nerds. We're back in Star Trek Legends because you need more Star Trek content. You need it, precious. You need it. <laughs> well, welcome back to the weirdness that is my channel where basically everything I do is nerd out about random things that sometimes are worth nerding out for and some aren't. But this one is. We haven't done a Star Trek Legends video in a few weeks, but that's okay because it's a great casual game that'll play on Apple Arcade. And if you don't have it yet, join I also randomly just cleaned out or not randomly recently cleaned out some of the inactives in my alliance because there's dirty dirty communists they just they come in and they try to work for free and i don't know what i'm saying at all honestly i just have a lot of energy today because hit continue to log into my profile weirdly enough and y'all can see where we're sitting at right now now my captain's chair and everything has changed up a little bit from the last time y'all probably saw and that's kind of what i want to talk about today now many of you who've been playing are probably past me at this point i'm still level 49 like i said i treat this as a really fun casual game that i don't have to devote hours of my life to so i really super enjoy it so even though i've been playing over a month now i still haven't even completed all the missions i this game is something i do 30 maybe 60 minutes at a time and i just enjoy the characters the collecting I even have a little summoning that i can do right now I've been having really good luck lately. Now, I just said that, so my pull's about to be awful, but I've had really good luck. I'm gonna do a command pull. I, like I said, I've had great luck lately, and this time I get a duplicate commander. whoop de freaking see, I did it. I, I jinxed myself, it's awful. I mean, I'll take him, but who cares? It's random, Cardi. Cardi B. That's a reference that wasn't needed. What I want to talk about today is loading out your bridge. And the thing is, they actually have a purpose, which kind of sucks because I just tend to want to put my favorites in there. And then I want to swap out my favorites for other favorites. I mean, right now you can see here's the full list. We'll go, you know, left, right, left, right. And we'll go through all the different ones. But here's my current bridge crew with all the stations. If I had to make a recommendation to the dev team and I actually will do that. There is an officer back here that's Odo. We need one of our officers literally here. That way I can see seven instead of six. Like, I want to see all the people on my bridge, okay? I'm just I'm just saying. I want to see them all. And right now I don't get to do that because apparently there's multiples just hiding off in the wings. So let's start with where I've got a Martok right here. Let's hit our bridge. We'll just start with ops, actually. So I've got Kira Norris at the op station, which is uh, where our good friend Mr. Data typically was. And you see we've got William Riker, Worf, different options. Now, I will say, and anybody that's followed me in gaming knows I do this on, like, every game. I really like critical builds and critical loadouts. So that means I kind of need to use Kira in just about any spot that she'll sit now a really tricky thing is you remember that not everybody can go in every spot so you you kind of get i don't want to use the word pigeonholed but it's a little bit more difficult to find out where, where you can go and build because not every officer can go everywhere i mean you can see the list here these are all you know ob style but there's a lot that are missing that you know that i have and sure i could put locutus a borg but do i need a borg five percent health bonus because i don't run a borg build but if i had locutus and the queen and i do have the queen and i had them leveled up i could change it my build system and run that right now it's kira norris now at the con i've got martok and the reason i got martok is because i am using wharf and the sad thing about wharf is even though he's a really good tank in the game he is honestly not that very high levelable. That's not even a concept or a word. What I mean by that is that he is not an in-game type tank. I mean, he is a just a standard kind of like uncommon rare. He's not one of the ultra cards. I want the super rare. So the limit you can take his equipment and the limit that you can take his overall stats aren't as high as some other cards. So right now I'm doing a little bit of Klingon boots, but honestly I should probably be putting Michael Burnham here. I just love Martok too much. That's the problem I talked about earlier, where I just want to put characters I like here. But honestly, I really should switch over to something like Michael Burnham because I love critical builds. Then we've got Mr. Spock in my medical seat with a 10% resistance to purge. Uh, with the missions that I'm actually going on, I really kind of need the 
resistance to assimilation or the resistance to scan because I'm actually going through the Borg missions right now and facing all those opponents. But once again, it's Spock. I can't do it. Now I've got over on the science station, I've got Captain Janeway for the pure bonus to attack, which is fine. If you see the different options I have, you know, there's not really anything here that I am big on. I mean, the Starfleet bonus with health is really good, especially because of the fact that I use Data and Riker, and, and that's great. But I went with this, the pure attack bonus, even though it's just a small little 3%. First officer is Worf, mainly because I love Worf. That's just, he's a plus five attack, which is oddly enough more than Janeway. But either way, it's just the fact that I love Worf. I love Klingons. You, you really should be surprised that the entire USS Artemis, which is the ship in this game, is not a bunch of Klingons right now. But I am trying to be semi-informative and educational. Woo! with my plus five attack so like i said the theme with me critical builds which means i'm going to boost crit chances and attack and just try to win as quickly as possible and trust in the rng rolls so and usually i die but every now and then i'm going to make an amazing thing happen that nobody else could because they didn't run a critical build can you guess what types of characters i play in D and stuff <laughs> anyway next up i've got data over in engineering you see, I've got T'Pol, the Borg Queen, uh, Seven of Nine, and Belana Torres. Data is a pure health bonus. That's a little bit more of just a smidge more of maybe survivability there. You know, uh, honestly, the tech one is the one I've been trying to do a little bit more research on, and I need to really hang out in the Discord more because there's some really smart people in the official Discord for Star Trek Legends, but this is something I'm still learning. But still, I mean, when I am building, especially early on in games, I go with the basics of what I know works across all games. Critical builds work, attack, DPS builds work, and then, of course, health boost are always good. And then I've got a plus three to defense, which kind of gets me... Whoop, did I just switch to seal up? My bad. Put Odo back there. So the tricky one for me here is that I don't know the difference between defense and health. I don't know the resistance levels there. So that's something I still got to work on. You see, here's the bonuses i have overall and we'll get to sulu as the final one with a starfleet hikaru sulu i mean who else would i put there i actually could put tomalak but he's romulans and i haven't done a romulan build and then i could do captain pike but that's defense and once again i'm not real confident what the difference between that and health is i know what health is for sure but that is my current setup and i'm just as i explain my type of builds that's kind of what i look into though is i look into building things that kind of work on the basics of what I'm used to. And then I'll kind of go up from there. So you see, we've got our main stats and our, you know, overall stats. You see our defense here and our gear levels, our attack, our health. And then of course, still using my son's stolen iPad. Well, I stole it from him. We didn't steal it. Promise. Don't call the cops. But health, attack, speed, defense, tech, those are your primary stats. And the secondary is the crit damage, crit chance. You see that I've got a plus 11 crit chance right there with a 118 damage bonus with Riker in general. And then a couple of bonuses there. but uh, And then my glancing chance is also increased, which that's kind of annoying. Percentage that indicates how likely the enemy's attack will glance. So actually, it's not annoying. It's their glancing, not me. So that's actually kind of like mitigation in Star Trek Fleet Command. Here is, I'm going to click on the defense real quick. Defense damage decreases damage from attacks. Okay, so now that makes a little bit more sense. And whereas health simply determines the max health. So in here, I've got a little bit higher defense. We'll have to see how that plays out. Like, is it just a straight one-to-one? -one? Accidentally hit the enter button and stopped everything that we were recording. So, you know, the, the curious thing is, how does defense work? Is it like if I've got an attack of 200 and a defense of 26, does it simply subtract to 174? How exactly does that play in? Is there a mathematical equation in terms of division or is it a percentage boost? We'll have to look at that in another video. But for now, I'm going to focus on the basics. And I encourage everybody for these type of games, any type of mobile game you go into, go with it with the mindset of the basics of MMOs. You know, go with it into those type of builds that you're used to. And if you're not familiar with any of them, it, there's nothing wrong with just picking what crew is fun. Now, if you remember in our last video, we cover what's the best basic crew to start with, and you actually get them for free in the game. You get all of them for free, but you get them early on, and you can work through that. As you can see right now, I'm working through sort by rarity. See, here are the rares and the ultras that I've unlocked, still working through a lot of them. I'm only at 44 out of 62, so a lot of people are past me. But this is today's video and because this video doesn't answer everything that means you gotta come back for more because i'm the best star trek legends content creator 
we actually don't have a content creator room or anything set up so technically none of us are official content creators but shout out to the other people who have been making videos for this and support the games get you an ipad go to your local pawn shop i don't care pay five dollars a month for apple arcade and come happen with me last thing we'll show is our alliance just in case you want to join bingo bango we got a couple spots number three two five three is the easy way to find us so do that oh oh Everybody in my other game loves my singing, so hopefully you do too. Hey! Anyway, live long and prosper. Stay safe with the Space Cowboys. We'll catch you in the next video. Deuces! Hey, that's me. An even better outro than the intro. Yeah! Woo!